Some local kids are making an impact on the world with their helping hands. Now they're creating prosthetic limbs for kids in need by using 3D printers in the classroom. 7 Action News reporter New Prakash introduces us to the students and shows us how they are really making a difference. What the kids here in the Novi Community School District are doing is part of a global network creating 3D printed prosthetic arms like this. Here at Novi Woods Elementary School, these fourth graders are having fun while making a difference. They're creating prosthetic hands and arms for kids around the world. We're making these prosthetics hands so then they could have an easier life. Their mentors, members of Novi High School's robotics team. This string needs to be tightened all the way. Watching the kids when they get to see the 3D printer and putting it together, they have a lot of fun and it's just, it's really heartwarming. Fenton Lawler is on the robotics team, which had already been creating these limbs for the global nonprofit Enable. It's a network of volunteers that uses 3D printing to provide the free prosthetic limbs. This is one of the lives changed by the work of the Novi teens. Misha, who is from Tbilisi in the country of Georgia, received this pink prosthetic they made. You can see the smile on her face while she's holding the Barbie the doll, and it's just it's really heartwarming. Moved by the impact they're making, last summer Fenton and his teammate Kirsten Anderson decided they wanted to get more people involved. We just kind of thought about it and we said there's kids out there who could be building these arms and putting it together and learning about technology and 3D printing um, and be getting an experience out of it that you couldn't get anywhere else. They met with Julie Farkas of the Novi Public Library looking for a way to take this to other students and to the community. This was a win-win right from the get-go. Soon after that, they started working with some of the district's fourth graders. The process uses 3D printers along with plastic filament. The limbs are pieced together with the help of strings that act like tendons. It was pretty hard to make it and then when I saw it, I was like, oh, it's finally done. <laughs> and then I, I just knew that someone in the world would be able to got that hand and that didn't have one. And just last month, this Helping Hands project went beyond the classroom into the library where community members got a chance to make them. We were able to create an assembly day and sign up people who were interested in learning more about the hand or making a hand. Plans are already in the works for the next community assembly day. Thanks to donations and the desire to be of service, they're all able to change lives. So far, nearly 100 arms and hands have been made. Not just the movement, but also the fact that they have a limb there. Because most of these kids in these um, poor countries, they are not able to work, they're not able to fit into society. So now that they have an arm, um, they can now fit in. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. You You'll do one finger and then do you want to do the next finger? Do you want to do the pinky? Jotsna Joshi is another one of the kids' mentors. I never understood what it means when people say, I saw a spark in their eyes. And when I work with these kids and you explain something and they get it, and seeing that like cognition happen was my favorite part. Of A rewarding experience all the way around, one they hope to extend to all of the district's fourth graders soon. I think it's great because even though we're kids, we still get to make a difference because some people have to wait to make their difference, but we already get to do something amazing like this. The students have a goal of creating 200 prosthetic arms by June. If you'd like to learn more about what they're doing and this program, just go to our website, WXYZ.com. In Novi, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. Wow, what an experience for those little young people. And I mean, they could be future scientists. And the most important thing is it gives them an understanding for the kids with, with the missing limbs. I know in my case of my granddaughter in a wheelchair, as soon as, as kids kind of approach her about that and understand what it is, they forget all about it. Yeah. It no longer becomes an issue. So I think these kids will have more of an understanding for kids with yeah, disabilities. She said when she sees their reaction and their eyes yeah. light up, that's right, the best good, part. Good on them. Fabulous.